Hello trombone players, welcome back to our virtual lesson. Uh, so we haven't been around for the past few weeks, we've been doing other things, and also we just came off the back of spring break, so I'm sure there wasn't very much practice during spring break. I can tell you I didn't practice too much either. Uh, that time is important for us to have off, but now it's important to dive back in and re-strengthen those muscles in our face that we've probably lost over break. Uh, so hopefully by th this point you've had the chance to watch the two TED Ed videos I posted on why learning an instrument is important for your brain, and how practice is important, and how to do effective practice. These are a lot of things we've been talking about all year. Uh, learning how to practice is the most important part of it. So today, before we dive into the piece, which we're going to wrap up next week, we are going to talk about the two exercises we've already worked on this semester, and also add a third one on so that you have a proper practice routine. Now, before I dive in here, I want to make it clear, I expect you to practice between 20 and 30 minutes a day. Um, for those of you in 8th and ninth grade, closer to the 30 minutes. For those of you in 6th and 7th, closer to the 20 minutes. Uh, and that is five days a week. That's really just because in the video it talks about it, shorter practices are more effective. Longer practices just aren't as effective because your muscles get tired, you get distracted, you get bored, it stops being fun. But sitting down for 15 minutes at a time is an easy way to get a good amount of work done and also not get bored or frustrated by the end of your practice. So by the end of this video, you will have a nice little 15 minute set to practice with. Uh, I suggest personally a practice session in the morning for 15 to 20 minutes and a practice session at the end of the day, after school, after dinner, whenever you can fit it in for an additional 15 to 20 minutes a day. So right off the bat, let's tune. I will make sure I have a B-flat and then you will match mine. There's a B-flat. Here's your low one. Great. Now that we are in tune, we know our first activity. Grab your metronome, set it to 80 beats per minute. 8 beats per note, B-flat scale. Breathe 8 beats in between each note. Up and down. I'll play it both ways for you today. Ready? One, two, ready.
your eight beat scale. Uh, now I left an extra eight beats in there between that low D and that low C, uh, the, set, the third and second last notes. Uh, that's just because I was zoning out. You know, this is something you can do without focusing super hard. Just make sure your embouchure is there, close your eyes. You know your B flat scale at this point. Uh, one thing that we did talk about in previous weeks is extending your range. So just keep going up until you can't hit that consistent pitch above that high B flat. So instead of stopping at the top and coming back down, you can keep stretching it up. Uh, those of you in eighth and ninth grade, I expect you guys to be able to reach up to hopefully a high F by the end of this year. That's going to take a lot of practice for a lot of you. Um, but that is this note. In first position. And that's your high B flat. That was the top of that scale. So. We'll work on that more in future lessons. I'm going to add a little addendum on the end of each lesson, specifically for eighth and ninth grade uh, in the coming weeks. But there's our first exercise. You know that one. That's where you start every day. We move on to our second one, which we already know. Set your metronome to 70 beats per minute. This is gonna be the do, 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 re, do, do, re, mi, re, do. top and then when you get to that high note it becomes do, do, ti, do, do, ti, la, ti, do, all the way back down. I'm going to start going up and I will not stop between going up and going down. So if you need to pause and work on a specific section of this, pause the video and work along. We've been doing this for a little while. Whoop. One, two, Ready? going to take a lot of your attention to your intonation, which is making sure that you are not only hitting the right note, you're hitting the note right in the middle. That is the blessing and the curse of the trombone. You can get close to the note pretty easily, but it's so, so important that your slide is in the exact right place. We have the freedom to adjust tiny bits while we play. If I was aiming for a C, <laughs> up a little bit sharp. That is about two and a half centimeters difference. Two completely different notes. So aiming for that C. It's all up to your ears. 
And when you're bouncing back and forth between notes with the do, re, do, do, re, mi, your ear needs to make sure every re, every mi, every fa, all the way through are the same. So it can't be. Every re I just played there was different. So make sure you are using your ears. Make sure you are using a tuner. Play along with me on the recording. I'm pretty accurate. Uh, so play along with me. Make sure you're lining up with my notes. So that is your second warm up activity. On to your third one. This is a new one. Every one we've been playing so far has been in stepwise motion, which means that all of the notes are next to each other, right? So you do do, re, mi, fa. On the long tone scale, on the jumping scale, you do do, re, do, re, mi, re, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. They're all next to each other. This one's going to be slightly different. We're going to skip notes now. So what this is going to look like, I'll sing it first at 60 beats per minute. Do, one, two, ready. Do. jumping thirds. So you're going from the first note to the third note, to the second note, to the fourth note, right? The, when you hear it, it makes sense. If I spell it out in numbers, it's a little harder to understand. Same scale, same everything. I'm going to go ahead and play it now. There are two notes outside of the normal scale, right? When we get to the top, it goes that ray above the high do is C. Third position, you know it, you've played it. That was a little bit outside of the key, but this is your do. This is your high ray. Right? The do is your low do. And on the last one, it's re, t, re. A low T, which is your low A, which is just in second position, same as your high A, just loosen your lips up and hit that lower one. Right? So I'm going to do it 60 beats per minute, half notes each note. One, two, ready. Try to breathe every four notes. 
So it shouldn't be do, mi, re. That's a little disjointed. When I played it, I played do, mi, re, fa, mi, sol. Every four notes. So that ends up being eight beats between every breath, just like we do on our long tone scale. So this shouldn't be a stretch for your lungs. You should be working them out. It should be a little uncomfortable at first, but when you practice more, you'll get it. So that is your homework for the week. Those of you that haven't had your instruments so far, you do need your instruments for the rest of the semester. We are going to be online for the foreseeable future, and I need to test your playing so that when we get back to school, we are not all the way back to last year. Um, those of you that have been keeping up with it, keep on up. Those of you that don't have your instruments, you need to pick them up. And then once you have them, you need to go back to week one of the lessons. There are three lessons that start going over this piece that we're working on. You need to work with those three lessons so you can be caught up next week when we go in to our next project, which is going to be a virtual orchestra. As your final assessment for this year on instruments, I, or at least one of the big assessments, I'm going to have you record your part to the piece to a backing track that I provide. I am going to piece them together and create a virtual orchestra out of us since we cannot be together in person. Um, so your homework, that last exercise, 60 beats per minute with a metronome. You can play along with the recording of me doing it, uh, both up and down, half notes each note, 60 beats, metronome. Cool? Message me if you have any questions. If not, I will see you during our next lesson.